so off we go to a white sand beach and this is my outfit did you take glasses all right all right so off we go on our way all right Duh. Okay, now, so did you know that the famous Falasana beach in Crete, Greece, is also a nude beach? I bet you didn't. I know a whole lot of you, for people that visited Greece, Greece before and probably were in the island of Crete, the Greeks call it Crete, okay? So it's pronounced differently. Anyways, yes that beach is actually a place where you can go and stay where everyone is wearing their swimsuit sunbathing swimming in the turquoise water with white sand and it's so beautiful falasana is a beautiful beach it's one of the most beautiful in the island of crete and remember island of crete is massive okay well if you are planning your vacation you want to go to greece then this is the channel to be on because I will be bringing videos to you so you know what's going on and where you're going to, okay? And also, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section and I will respond to you. All right, that being said, let's talk about the roads. Right now, we're on the highway. One thing you have to know about Greece is that the roads are scary okay <laughs> now when i mean it's scary it doesn't mean they had there's like potholes and things like that no most of their roads are hanging like off the cliffs because greece is a mountainous country okay has greece has a lot of mountains so most of the roads is winding up like going round and round zigzag like a snake like it's very difficult to see a very straight road in greece some of the roads are going up from the mountain down to the valley up back twist and turns so if you are coming to greece and you're planning to rest rent a car which is something that a lot of people do which is what a whole lot of people do then these are some of the stuffs you need to know i saw this question some people were like oh someone said i went to santorini the road was so scary of course yes yeah, she said her car was sliding down and that was so terrifying for her yes depending on which of the island you're going to so if you're really afraid and one thing something else i need to mention about the roads in greece is that most of the roads do not have like bars okay the protection and the ones that even have they have like very tiny like what you see here that's one of the reasons why i wanted to take you along so i can talk to you about the roads also but we're going to the nude beach okay so don't worry watch till the end anyways so yes some of the roads are hanging off cliffs right now we are in an area that is called kisamo so if you're ever in this area now it depends um crit island is massive so it depends on where you're coming from now this trip we're going from the area called platanias okay that's the part we're going from so you have like platanias aya marina and all of that you might be coming from hanya you might be coming from some other areas so please do ask questions and you can drop the comment below letting me know so i can tell you but these are some of the landscapes these are some of the things you will see if you're driving from Hanya, let's say, to um, Falasana, or you're driving from Platanias, Yerani, Malame, Plat um, Aya Marina, and all these areas, okay? These are some of the landscape you're going to see if you're renting a car. But also, they have buses, they have like the big vehicles that take tourists, and I think hotels, not I think, I know, okay? Because <laughs> I saw them when I was coming back. Different hotels also organize these trips because if you're going to Crete, Falasana is one of the beach that they would mention, they would suggest to you to go to, even if you check Google you will find it okay and you see photos and how beautiful it is they will also suggest a lafonisi for you so most of these majors and also balos beach and numerous others very beautiful beaches and all of that even private like where you can be alone with your spouse and have a nice time 
take off all your clothes and just sunbathe if that's what you want to do but also they also have a whole lot of nude beaches in crete island okay crete has a lot of nude beaches so if that's where you want to go also then we can list the names of places like that for you if that's what you want to do okay so okay so like i was saying about the road you can see here how close we are to the sea so yes and they have just a small barricade so prepare yourself brace yourself if you live in a country where your roads are not hanging off cliff or your roads are not on the mountain top and so on right here there is a cave so you'll be able to stop if you're going to falasan and you have more time you can stop there look at the cave there's a church there's a cave and the church is in the cave very beautiful a whole lot of tourists stop there and also another spot to stop is this Grand Vusa. this area is called Grand Vusa. so this Grand Vusa area is where people love to stop here this open place you see there are seats there where you can sit and have a lunch a drink and just sit and just look at this massive port where the big boats come to um, stop to pick up people that they're taking to let's say uh, Balos beach and all those other beaches and all of that so you can actually do that you see it here it's written there's a sign on the road it says Grand Vusa now when you're going closer to Palasana the road gets narrower because now you're going to go off the main road into the small road where you see us on right now so looking at the houses take a good look at them so if you're on this road you know that yes you are on the right path to falasana so something else i want to point out there's a little church there i hope you saw it right now we are on the top of the mountain so from here on we're descending and the road right now how am i going to describe it it's it's not really zigzag because the turns are like complete turns so it's almost like a snake should i say the way a snake walks i don't know what that that's called but yeah so now you you are going to descend for some time now okay you can see down how far it is and those white stuff you see is um farmhouses the greeks are big in agriculture okay agriculture is something that they they do and they take very serious they plant their crops so farms like that your uh they plant like cucumbers tomatoes and every other nice vegetables and uh and stuffs like that and from here they bring the big vehicles that carry goods and they transport them from here to other parts of the island and so on and so forth. So yes, Palasana is a good spot where um, to plant. So they plant and they harvest and distribute. So you've seen this, you know that yes, you are, if you are a tourist, you know that yes, you are on the right path. And make sure to get a map because the island like i said is the biggest island in greece so if you're in crete make sure to get a map okay so at this uh, spot now we've descended let's say halfway or no we've gone past halfway and there's a supermarket here okay you can see it, it writes there falasana supermarket okay so here you can stop if maybe you forgot to take water from your hotel or um, something to snack on if you're spending so many hours of which of course this is like an hour drive all the way from where we're coming from so yes uh, we had our waters and all of that but we wanted to get some drinks so we stopped by to get some drinks like passion flavor drink and things like that but sorry i forgot to show you all it was so windy <laughs> yeah so falasana market so here you can stop and when we pulled in there was another car that was here and i think people were buying like ice because i saw him putting ice in there some some small stuff like a cooler or so here you can see right behind me there it's a hotel so if you want to lodge close to places like falasana so you don't have to do all those one hour drive or 30 minutes drive depending on where you're coming from then there are hotels and lodges around here some of which in my video you can see them but they look so small because they are on the top of the mountain right now we're below because i told you we are descending to get to the beach okay so you can see those small small buildings you see most of them are five star hotels like extremely beautiful everything you need okay and you can check airbnb and all of that they have stuff like that in restaurants where you can get foods and drinks and so on and so forth everything you need is actually here okay falasana is massive beach so of course everything you need is actually available okay so at this point we're going down and 
I'm showing you the sites where you can see more hotels and lodges and you know stuff like that houses where you can just rent and just you and your family alone yeah so now we're taking this turn at this point I, I have to say to you if you're going to the beach if you're going to the nude beach taking this path leads you directly to the nude beach but you have other paths that you can go to because like I said it's massive family kids everybody go to Falasana beach not many people know that Falasana is also a nude beach because they have a small segment in the middle by your right and left you're going to see normal people with clothes swimwears and things like that some dating swimming having fun playing games water sports but in the middle I'm going to show you that in a bit right now I want to show you the car park they have this massive car park and it's free you don't pay money to park so you're not worried if you're, you want to spend all day in Falasana you're not worried that it's counting because your car is at the car park the car park is free and here they also have a restaurant if you're hungry you can leave the beach and walk up there walk up and uh, sit down and have a meal and also if you sit here in the evening the sun sets and everything you just sit and just it looks so beautiful it's actually at the edge from here you descend straight down to the beach now those rocky parts that you saw when i turned my camera that is the area where the nude beach is okay so that area if you're in falasana what you see right now you can see the sunbed we're descending right now the sunbed toward the right hand part yes everybody stays there security uh you know the lifeguards and everybody but if you turn to your left as you're descending right now with me you're going directly to the nude beach behind the stones you will see people laying down couples not wearing anything completely nude and all of that so yes today we're going to the nude beach but sorry i will not be able to um film there you know already a nude beach is a nude beach you cannot pull up your camera and start showing people's private parts okay so yes that's what it is so yes what i'm showing you right now you can go there if you don't want to go to the nude part you want to be with your clothes you want to have fun yes but right now i am filming this where i'm swimming right now is the nude part i was actually in the water so i could hold my camera facing me but right behind me to my left to my right and all around are people that are completely nude and just sunbathing and enjoying the whole day okay enjoying their, their trip to greece enjoying their summer enjoying the sun you know getting a nice tan and all of that okay at this point i was about to leave so i had already prepared myself and gotten ready to leave so i said let me take a dive and show you people the nude beach in falasana so you know this area that you have stones because when you go to the other side all you see is white sand and turquoise water that is what you're going to see those parts you have to be clothed you don't go nude but if you want to go nude you go to this rocky part which is in the middle of the beach in falasana to your right to your left you see families you see thousands and thousands of people laying down sunbathing having fun playing games those are the normal part but remember that the middle part is where you can take off all your clothes and just enjoy nature and just be free just the way you were born you know the way you came into the world yes take off all your clothes and just sunbathe have a nice tan pack up your things in the evening and start driving back to your hotel or wait for the a hotel van to come pick you up whichever one thank you for watching anyways i hope you enjoyed the video